In this lecture, we are going to see how we can install Hashcat on Windows. Hashcat is a GPU based tool, so you need to have it running on a machine with powerful graphic card with all drivers. It can be your Windows machine, Ubuntu machine, or you can do it in the cloud. Now, the first step is to install the Hashcat from the official website. You can go to the website and download the binaries. Now download and extract the raw Q dictionary in the Hashcat folder. Just paste the link in the browser and the raw Q dictionary will automatically be downloaded. Now let's move over to the actual demonstration. First of all, search for Hashcat in the browser. Open the official website and download the binaries. It's around 9 MB, so it will take a while. Now open the directory where Hashcat is downloaded and extracted. There is no need to install anything. Hashcat works fine while extracted. Once the Hashcat is extracted, you can see all the files that are available. Now we need to download the raw dictionary. Just paste the link in the browser and you can see the downloading will automatically start. Once the dictionary is downloaded, just open the folder where the dictionary is downloaded. And cut the file from there and paste it in the hashtag directory. Now we are ready to crack some passwords. In this lecture, we are going to see how we can crack I office hope you passwords like this lecture with and see you in the next lecture. Now the first step is to get the hash from the office file with John on Kali Linux. And in the second step, we are going to crack the hash with hashcat dictionary attack on Windows. So in the first step, copy the password protected file from Windows machine to the Kali machine. You can directly copy the file or you can use a USB to transfer the files. Now get the hash of the document with the given command office to john crackme.xlsx and it will save the hash in hash.txt. Here crackme.xlsx is the password protected file and hash.txt is the text file that will contain a hash that is required to be cracked. Once you run the command, it will store the hash in the hash.txt file. Now copy the hash file back to windows and to the hashcat directory. Now open the hash.txt file and remove the file name from the contents. Now we need to open the partial and then use the given command to crack the handshake. Here dash a0 flag tells that it is a dictionary attack and dash m9600 tells the hash here that it is an office password that is to be cracked. Crack.txt will store the crack password. Hash.txt is the source file and rawq.txt is the dictionary that we have already downloaded. Now if you have office 10 files or office 13 files or office 16 files, there are different codes that you must remember or you can search them on the Google. Now let's move over to the actual demonstration. For this demo, we are going to create an Excel file. Just create an Excel file and write some data. Now save the file. Now while saving the file, go to Tools, General Options and give it a password. I am going to give it a password of 123456 for the demo and click save. Now our encrypted file is saved. Now close the file, just copy the file 
and paste it in the VMware machine. Just make sure that you paste it in the home directory. Now open the terminal and use office to join utility to get the hash of the document. Just use the command as shown on the screen. Just list the file with ls command and you can see that hash.txt is stored in our home directory. Now open the home directory, copy the hash.txt file and we are going to paste this file in the hashcat directory on windows. Once you have the hash.txt file in the windows, just open this file and remove the file name from the file contents. This file name is only needed if we are going to crack the password with John. Now open the PowerShell and use the command as shown on the screen. Here you do not need to give D2 and D3 flags. I have provided them because it helps me choose my graphic card on my machine. Otherwise it works fine. Just use the command as I have provided you in the presentation. And you can see that Hashcat is trying hard to crack the password. Hashcat is trying all entries from raw dictionary against the password. And you can see that the password is cracked. Now close the terminal and open the crack.txt file in the hashcat folder. And you can see the password, which is 123456 in our case. I hope you like this lecture and see you in the next lecture.